Right, so this time uh, we have probably what many of you will recognise as a Hawks Panormo. So Hawks and Son need no introduction, you know, incredible uh, number of instruments made of, you know, very good quality. They were sold in their, uh, you know, through their London uh, store. They supplied um, a lot of brass instruments actually as well and music and obviously certainly things like the military and before it would be a brass band would always have a bass so therefore they got into selling basses they did sell other stringed instruments but really it was their basses that took off and um, you know they're plentiful instruments I would imagine most bass players have seen or know of someone with a Hawks bass um, they made three different models so this is the Panormo model which is the best one and it was copied from the Winterbottom Vincenzo Panormo. So Vin that's the reason it got its name. Vincenzo Panormo is the English Stradivarius, really. Um, he was originally from Italy, but he, he made um, a copy or a, a, a sort of a, an instrument that was kind of inspired by Dragonetti, Domenico Dragonetti's uh, Gasparo. So the outline of this space and the outline of a Vincenzo Panormo is exactly the same as uh, the Dragonetti Gasparo. So yeah, and so there's the um, the Panormo instruments are so well known, and um, you know certainly we have kind of given them names as to who uh, the sort of the major player of them was, and and a chap named Winterbottom. He actually he actually had the instrument that was copied by Hawks and Son, and the first ones were made in England, sort of 1890s around there. But quite quickly, I think they saw that there was opportunities um, and there was free trade agreements available for um, for them to be made abroad. There's a few were made in France, but the principal manufacturer of them was in Germany. So you had uh, in Mark Neukirchen. So you have uh, companies like Rubner, people like that, um, that were making them. And uh, this is a gorgeous example. So it's from 1921. Um, it's all labelled and uh, yeah it's a gorgeous instrument um, and uh, again you'll see from Tom but it plays super nice. Uh, we have done a bass bar, we've been over it, we've done the, a neck, we've done it our setup, it's got a nice high bridge, nice big overstand so it's super easy to play and um, yeah I mean it's a, a cl absolute classic example in fabulous condition. Um, yeah, so this particular one, nice, beautiful piece of spruce here, sort of fine to sort of slightly widening towards maybe medium uh, width grain on the front, but gorgeous. And again, um, you know, exactly what you'd expect to see. Uh, the back and sides, so again, see gorgeous varnish, um, which it retains basically all of it. Absolutely stunning. Um, and you'll see the H here, which tells you it's a Panormo. And I think as I was saying a second ago that actually they made three different models. There was the Professor, which had a flat back and outside liners, a Concert, which has uh, a round back and outside liners and no H. And then you have the Panormo, which has no outside liners and the H on the back. Um, and you can see very similar to Vincenzo Panormo, you've got a ra this gorgeous round back with a break, which we've sort of carried on today. Uh, that's sort of our style of making also. Um, and yeah, it's a really nice example. Okay, and so for the head, uh, this one has, uh, we've made it five strings in our workshop. And um, let's move that so you can see. So um, this obviously, obviously would have originally been a four string. And uh, these two tuners are the original Baker copies that they fitted, um, as are these two. And this is an additional one that we fitted uh, to convert it to five strings. Um, but I mean, it's incredible, incredible original condition still. Um, and you know, beautiful Panormo style head. Um, they always did this very steep thing here, which it doesn't exactly what Panormo would have done, but they're very, all very similar. And so you see these Baker style machine heads are on the um, Panormo model, but you'd have a sort of German copy of a French machine head goes onto the Con the concert and the professor. Yeah, so you've got a really nice example here, absolutely stunning um, sounding instrument, all gone over in our workshop. So if you're looking for a five string monster, then uh, this is the one to go for.